Hello, 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 friends. <laughs> this is Metapod here. I'm recording from my Nintendo Switch again. Let's uh, maybe move this around so you can see me better. It's about the same. Let's see, I'm going to be like this most of the time, so I'll be... Then you get that big glare from my window. Anyway, today I got Monster Hunter Generations Ultimate. So I'm going to try out playing it for the first time ever. Excitement. Here we go. This is going to be, this is my first time playing any Monster Hunter game. So yes, there's no data to load because I haven't played before. I got a friend request. Hold on. Language set to English. Okay. I want to see what my friend request is. Oh. Oh my gosh. She looks like miserable. This is somebody I've played Animal Crossing with. Okay. This can be changed options. Oh, you can receive all kinds of bonuses. For more information, please check what? Capcom. We're gonna take breaks. A better hunter in the long run. Okay, thank you, game. Capcom presents. Whoa, I wasn't expecting it to be snowy. Oh wow, the graphics are really nice. I think because the only like footage of Monster Hunter I've really seen, I think was like Game Boy, or not Game Boy, uh, DS, or 3DS version. Oh, there's a kitty. No, I've seen a little bit of this one. Because I remember the kitties. Because my friend Kitty made kitties. Did the kitty turn into a snowman? Whoa. Blah. Of course, my earbuds are falling out. I think it's because I talk while I'm wearing them and it makes them fall out because they don't fall out nearly as much when I'm playing on my own and not talking. Blah. This isn't that exciting, to be honest. <laughs> the kitty's cute though. But I'm not a huge fan of like action scenes. Um, I did like the ones in Avatar The Last Airbender. They had really good action scenes. So I actually really got into those. But in general, action scenes are not my thing. But this is cool. I like stuff like this. Showing the like life of these people. Ooh, that's a cute glasses girl. Yeah! This is this an airship? Bye bye. I have no idea what's going on. I'm guessing this is like where we live. What was going on? Oh, more kitties. The set red thing that flew by when they were fighting. Whoa. <laughs> More scenes. Oh. Dun dun dun. Press A. The following language has now been added to the in game language center traditional and simplified Chinese. Okay. In order to play downloaded quests, you must download the latest data from downloadable content. I don't have that. You may be unable to initiate a download quest while trying to play with players not download the latest data. That's me. Be sure to download the newest data before playing multiplayer. Okay. Well, this is kind of hard to read. 
New oh, you can't use the stick. New game, continue, options, download, data transfer. Save data transfer app allows you to transfer Monster Hunter Generation save data from Nintendo 3DS. Oh, so this is like an updated version of 3DS game or maybe sequel? TV brightness is good. Rumble, it doesn't matter because I'm using a Hori controller and it doesn't have rumble, which sucks. Manual language settings. We have English, French, Spanish, German, Italian, and I don't, this is probably traditional Chinese and this is probably simplified Chinese just because the traditional one looks a lot more complex. We're gonna play in English. Okay, let's new game, create new character, reuse an existing save file to start a new, oh cool. That's not nearly as cool as the opening was. Okay, um, gender, male and female, they're like naked. Face. Oh, is the face like, there's a mustache guy. The face is gonna determine the hair on the face too. I want the mustache guy. Oh, wait, there's a, second page oh those are dumb there's only one mustache okay features oh there's a mustache it's really bad looking okay whoops oh we can change the color rotate oh okay <laughs> Um, why does it go away? Change color. Let's make it black since our hair is black. Well, we might be able to change the color of our hair. If so, let's make a yellow hair guy. No. Okay, he has it. Now let's pick a different face because that one's... Oh, the shape of the mustache changes depending on which face you have. That's so cute. That's so cute. I love it. <laughs> okay. Now we gotta choose which face has the best mustache. Oh, I like that one a lot. Like a little pyramid mustache. Ah, oh, I keep pressing the wrong buttons. Ear. Okay, that's like an angry looking dude. They're all kind of the same though. I like how this one's more like got a little poochy handlebar. That face is ugly. That's a weird face. It's just like curved down. I like this mustache a lot. I like this one. It's also, we need to look at the noses. So this one has a nice nose. This one has a nice nose too, actually, but it has that dumb little goatee. That's a good nose there. Why does he look so angry? That's actually a good nose too, but he's got this stick in his mouth. Okay, I think this is the one I like the best. Ugh, but it's angry. <laughs> that one's so silly. I like this one a lot too. Okay, let's see. So type 14 versus type four. They're very similar. They have the same eyes, I think. I like type 14 better. Okay, so let's go skin color. Oh, if we can make our hair white, I want to be dark skin. This is really slow. Oh, hold the L or R button. Oh, there we go. Because I want to look kind of like the, um, the Arcanians from Unlimited Saga. How do we change our hair color? What is this? Oh, eye color. I think they have like silver eyes. 
then let's change the color of the mustache to white voice I like three so far. I kind of like twelve. Yeah, I like twelve. <laughs> it's very grunty. <laughs> it's a weird one. It's a weird one too. <laughs> these are all weird, these last ones. Right? <laughs> I like that one. Hairstyle. Let's change the color to white. Wait, my skin didn't. Okay, let's go back. Oh, I have to press like A. Okay. I like how it's to reload the entire model to change the hair. Maybe it just because it looks nicer that way. Like if did the hair just change suddenly, it would look weird or something. Ooh, bald. Oh man, there's a lot of hairs. Dragon Ball hair. <laughs> Giant afro. I kind of like bald. There, that's what. Oh, he's very handsome. Okay, clothing. These are all really dumb looking. <laughs> 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 okay, I thought that was silly looking, but that's like. It's slightly better color than that. That's weird. I don't know. I think this one, I guess. <laughs> we can change the color. I like it how it was. No, wait. <laughs> This one, and then change the color. Yeah, let's just leave it. I, we're gonna get armor and stuff anyway, so. Oh, our face didn't change either, did it? Or wait, did it? Oh, we can see the noses from this direction now. Oh, this is a better nose. Ooh, that's a really nice one, but I hate that face. This is a pretty good nose, though. Okay, this one actually... This is the best nose, but it's like a really dumb face. This is the second best nose. So we're going to keep that. Choose an eye color features. Oh my hair, I got hair again. 
I keep forgetting you have to like press the A button. Okay, how do I like confirm? Press plus maybe? No. Press B. Done. Enter a name. Okay. <laughs> what does it want me to do? How do I enter the name? I'm pushing every button. It just says enter a name. Oh, I have to go to name. <laughs> That's not very intuitive, honestly. Like, what kinds of personal? Well, if this is gonna be my name, name, I don't really want him to be named after me. Let's name him Podrick, because <laughs> it's like Mad of Odd made into like a different name, Podrick. Maybe two Ks. <laughs> I like it. Done. Create a character with these settings. Yes. Huh. Stop. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. <laughs> style. Guild style is a definitive style for members of the Hunter's Guild. It allows for two Hunter arts and has a versatile mix of attacks. Great for adapting to any situation. Striker cycle is relatively simple to use style that lets you equip up to three hunter hearts. It's also easier to charge up the arts gauge, so it sounds perfect for going heavy on the arts. Aerial style is unique for allowing you to use an aerial dodge to jump on monsters and propel yourself high into the air. That sounds fun. You can also launch off yourself off players in barrels. Great for mounting monsters. That sounds a little scary, though. Adept style is all about waiting until the last second to evade or guard your foe's attack, letting you perform insta moves. It's difficult to pull off, but allows for devastating counterattacks. I like that one. Valor style relies on sheathing to, f <laughs> to fill your gauge and enter a stronger, faster Valor state. Fill your gauge by using sheath canceling attacks and avoiding attacks with a sheathing stance. I don't really understand that one. Alchemy style is ideal for support. In addition to equipping up to 300 arts or SP arts, you can also shake a special alchemy barrel to create alchemy items, power up your SP state, and more. Oh, I like support, but... Oh, I have no idea what to pick. I guess I can always like, make another character once I get used to the game. I think the, um, this counterattack one is the one I want to pick. Round Force 1, a spin attack that slashes all targets surrounding you. During execution, you'll be invulnerable to monster attacks, making effective evasive technique as well. Spin attack. Okay. Corkscrew-like evasion, providing a window of opportunity to make an emergency escape. Sports a lengthy period of invulnerability and sheathes your weapon on my automatically put in use. Corkscrew-like evasion. Emergency escape. A lengthy period of invulnerability. I like that. Sheaths your weapon automatically. Briefly stops stamina depletion while running away from large monsters and dashing while transporting items. This boost of adrenaline only lasts for a short. That doesn't seem very good. I like this corkscrew thing. Continue with these settings. Yes. Mm, select a saved it. Oh, he looks cooler now. He looks kind of like a Dragon Quest character. I can't rotate him. Let's save in the middle data. Podrick. Welcome to the world of Monster Hunter. Oh, that's so cartoony. I wasn't expecting that. <laughs> oh, man. Nod, nod. 
These look more like 3DS graphics now. <laughs> Just high resolution 3DS graphics. Oh, my, I'm clipping through my sword thing. I do not believe we have met before, Hunter. What brings you to our village here in the Highlands? Your mustache. I see you have come on appointment from the Hunter's Guild to work for the Wycademy. Wycademy? You must have traveled far. On behalf of Berna, let me welcome you, Hunter. I am chief of this humble village. Ours is a village rich with history, centered around the Wycademy. That doesn't sound like humble to me. Created long ago to research the origins of the mysterious ancient limestone structure at the base of the mountain near here. The Wycademy is now one of the world's preeminent institutions on all manner of monster research, and Berna, which was founded from small settlements that cropped up around the Wycademy, has walked hand in hand through history with this most illustrious of institutions. Yeah, that's not humble at all, dude. Ah, forgive me, you have not come to me for history lessons. Go int yourself, introduce yourself to Chief Researcher, and he will register your appointment as a Wycademy Hunter. You'll find him further up the path. You should be able to recognize him by the white researcher's coat he wears. Now, as for the matter of your lodgings, the researchers have no trouble sleeping among piles of books and reports, but for you, I'll allow you to use this guest house. Consider it your home while working here, free of charge. Well, that's pretty convenient. Inside, you will find an item box stocked with a selection of weapons. Use whichever one you think suits you. You will also have your own personal housekeeper, wow, who can provide you with a variety of other services. Once you finish speaking with the chief researcher, come see me again. We get our own private housekeeper. Okay, oh, he just moves really slow. Is there like a run button? Oh my god, <laughs> what's going on? I didn't want to do that, stop. <laughs> no, don't turn it on. Hunter search has been turned off, thank you. Berna hub higher, this is wild. Okay, it's a world map. Hunter search. ZL is multiplayer menu. Connect, disconnect. ZR is chat. Let's do this. Um, help. Can we talk to you? Lavish the Mufa with attention. Pet. Mufa fleece ball sent to item box. <laughs> This is so weird. <laughs> this is not what I was expecting. Okay. Pet, pet, pet. And A, keep petting. <laughs> keep petting, keep petting. Okay, we're good. Okay, let's pet the other one with the red on. Did we just kiss him? Oh my gosh, that's so wild. Oh, we're petting from the other side this time. Pet, 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 pet. Keep vetting. Oh my gosh, this is so silly. Okay, I want to stop. <laughs> this is so cute and weird. Can we talk to you? Hey, I know you. You're that hotshot new hunter everyone's talking about. You and me, we're peas in a pod. I mean, right now it might look like I can only afford Mufa cheese for dinner once a week, but I'm just waiting for my big break. I'm on the cusp of greatness, just like you, am I right? We're buds. Tell you what, Slick, it's all right if I call you Slick, no? Well, Slick, you and me, we're a lot alike. We both got our own dreams, and we're both incredibly attractive. That's true. Well, I don't know what he looks like. I can't change the camera. Ha! Huh. Let's watch out for each other, eh? Dude's hitting on me. Oh, I'm so slow. Maybe if I push in the stick? No. Okay, I see the guy up there. Who are you? Hi! Hi, hi, 100%. Welcome to our little patch of heaven. Here visiting from out of town? Just so you know, this is the quest counter, but I won't have any quests for you until you talk with the Baron Chief first. He's standing right over there. Okay, let's just talk to him. Look, there's a kitty up there we can talk to. Oh. Aha, you must be the new assistant the guild has dispatched for me. You're not quite as bookish as I expected. That's all right, though. The Academy is more than just about books and its study of monsters. Sometimes our research requires that we go out into the thick of things and study monsters in their natural habitats. And that's where you'll come in, deputy researcher. You'll take care of the occupational hazards. 
So will fight monsters. Also, please sign this liability waiver for lasting effects from fire poison paralysis slime mold viruses. <laughs> Now then, currently our efforts have been con concentrated on the Jurassic Frontier and we're short-handed. There's lots still left to explore, so that's where you'll be going, deputy, pen in hand, and sword too, perhaps. Do you see that large white building at the base of the mountain in the distance? Nothing here looks like a building. Maybe that thing with flags coming out? That's the Y Academy Research Facility. The Hunter's Hub, overseen by the Hunter's Guild, is just out in front of it. I'm not seeing a building, sorry. That makes Berna a sort of give a, get a, that makes Berna here a sort of gateway for relations between the Academy and the Hunters Guild. The Hunters Hub is run by the Guild Manager. Drop by to register to yourself sometime. Oh no, look at me rambling on like I don't have reports to write and places to be. I'll take care of the paperwork. So in the meantime, why don't you talk with the Berna Chief and see if he has any work for you? So much talking. Why does he walk so slow? <laughs> the chief was the dude I talked to back here, right? Yeah. Ah, oh, Hunter, I take it you've spoken with the chief researcher. He should be able to handle all your paperwork. Now that I imagine it will take some time before everything is squared away with the Academy. Until then, perhaps you would help me with a few quests. You would consider a bit of a warm-up before officially starting your work as the Academy Hunter. Once you're ready, you can visit the quest counter to accept quests. The quest counter is run by that young woman over there. She can be rather focused. But she means well. Speak with her and you will find training quests, as well as some one-star quests that I have requested. Should you need to review some of your basic hunter training, I recommend going over the training quests. Okay. The village also has facilities such as the market and the armory, which should prove useful for your preparations. Also, if you take the path down to the right, you'll find yourself at the Palico Ranch. The felines of Baranamic. Their home there, and some of them run a variety of unique and useful facilities. You also find the Moustress, Moustress there. She scouts Palicos to aid hunters like you. Speak with her to learn more, and please take this small allowance. It's a pittance, but I pray I help you on your hunters. Okay. Quest counters waiting. Good luck. I got 1500 Z. I wonder what the Z is. Zenny? Okay, I'm gonna go in my house. As we walk very slowly to the house. Go to your house. Why oh, have a kitty? Chamberlain. Is that my uh, butler or whatever? Salutations, Mouster. May I call you Mouster? I'm the housekeeper in the Y Academy's employee. Yeah. Just say the word and I'll be there at your beck and call. I provide many services. I see why Kitty likes this game so much. Want to watch that movie or cutscene again? Allow me to show you the gallery now. Yeah? Hungry for more quests? Seeking unique pal palicos? Connect the internet for downloadable content. So you see, Meowster, if you're looking for a little sugar and spice in your hunting life, then I'm your feline, yeah? I do need to run through two very important points. Of view to the <laughs> Before quitting your game, you're ready to use the bed to... Oh, okay, that's actually very helpful. Two, when you return from a hunt, I highly recommend you use the item box to organize your items. Remember these two simple rules upon, you'll be one happy hunter, yeah. If you purchase, if per chance you need anything at all, please feel free to call on me, Mouser. Okay. There's the item box. Palico board. Okay, I think we can get little like kitty friends. How do I interact? You have to go to the bed from like the foot of the bed. You can't go to it from the side like you would normally get in a bed. Meals will not be safe. What does that mean? Whoa! <laughs> Just like hop backwards onto the bed. Little snooze bubbles coming out. Oh, this game is way sillier than I was expecting. Okay. Oh wait, they said I had an item box with weapons in it, right? I saw this big sword on my back. Store items, take items. We have a Mufa fleece ball. What? Change appearance. Oh, sweet. Cool. Okay, manage equipment. Select equipment. Oh! So we have a separate... Uh, 
Oh man, I have no idea where to start. Strong arm. Notes petrified horn. Like, I'm so confused. I want to try this rod. Oh, it's ugly. Let's see what the shooter looks like. Cannon. Bow. That's friggin' huge. An axe that's even huger. Gun lance. Lance. Horn. Hammer. Daggers. Sword. Why does it say plus for camera? Oh. Petrified blade. Okay. I want to use this stuff first. Petrified rod. Set decorations. I guess I'll figure that out later. Sell equipment, change appearance, store items. Item pouch, we have nothing in the item pouch. Take items, we have a move for fleece ball, item sets. Swap your item pouch's contents with a set you've already registered. Oh, cool. Combine and manage items, combine box items. Combo list, there's so much stuff. Oh, we can change our style and our arts and stuff. Oh, oh. And there was something different in there than what we could select before. Okay, we got a big rod. <laughs> Okay, let's go talk to the girl. Hi. Welcome to our little patch of heaven. So you're here to become a white academy hunter. Hmm? Well, you came to the right place. Did you know that burning means gateway to the academy? And why burning? Well, actually, that's a lie. Even with all the blue skies, amazing cheesy cuisine, and adorable mufas, Baroness PR is kind of lacking. Baroness deserves to be positively buzzing with tourists. I think I'm having an asset. He's young guy. We're an ambassador. I'm always going to their villagers. No one's going to be happy on it. You all yap on and on. Just when I start talking about Berna, I can't stop. Let me formally introduce myself. I'm the resident Berna gal. I run the quest counter here. I bet the chief sent you over to have me say, Oh, quest, did he? Yep. If you need a quest, I got them. Hunting, gathering, you name it. Each quest has a level because, hello, we don't want new hunters getting maimed out there. So for right now, only one star quest for you, Buster. It's not so bad. Better than getting ripped to shreds, right? Take a stab at some of these and we'll go from there. Anyway, after you have accepted a quest, go to the quest gate and press the A button to take off. Keep in mind, once you accept a quest, you can't enter your house unless you cancel the quest. Okay. For that reason, we put an item box near the quest gate in case you need to organize yourself before leaving, okay? Finally, if you need to practice hunting some more, you can pick a training quest from here. You can figure out the boring details like how to use weapons and items later. For now, pick a quest. I would like to know how to use items and weapons. That's it. If you don't now, if you don't mind, I've got a PR game in the plan. Good out there. Training. Hunter basics. Hunter training, the basics. Deliver one well-done steak. Time 50 minutes. Select this quest, yes. Okay. Make us proud out there. See ya. What do I do? Something is called Hunt of the Day. Hunt of the Monster. You pick up extra reward. The Hunt of the Day is only available once. You can leave it. Poof is gone. Refresh twice a day. It's called Hunt of the Day, but it's refresh twice a day. You can check which monster is the Hunt of the Day and what reward is this quest kind of quest board. Check your Hunter's notes for a full dollar. Now, are you super sure you want to cancel this quest, Hunter person? No. But I don't know what I'm supposed to do. I go to the quest gate, I guess. It's 
It's dinner time. The tab's on you, and I'm feeling moved for some barbecue. Ha, huh? Alaranoth for its raw meat, and then whip me up a well-done steak. Mm, I can't wait. Well, man, I barely had time to read that. Why is it all, like, empty? Where even is this? <laughs> I'm so confused. Living letters. Hey, it's me. You know, the world's greatest hunting instructor. No, you look dumb. Today I'm going to teach you just what it takes to be a hunter. It ain't going to be easy, so you'll thank me later, and rightly so. That's the spirit. I like your attitude. I think you might just turn out all right after all. You don't look too shabby there in those old duds I gave you either. Make sure you treat them well. Your equipment can decide whether you live or die before you even start a hunt. Now, I'm sure you're anxious to get started with your training, but first let me introduce you to base camp. No monster ever comes as far as what's perfectly see. Okay. Base camp. Walk with the left stick, center your view with the L button, and look around with the right stick. Keep sharp. Center camera, move camera. Before you head out, don't forget to check the blue box over there. It's packed with supplies that the guild sent you for this quest. Luckily, lucky you. So you start chain toddle over to that box. Got it? Oh, now I'm going fast. Starmy blue chest right here. This is called the supply box. Comes chock full of items sent by the guild, so you know what's good for you. Always check to see what freebies you can use on each quest. Press the A button to see what's inside. You can take whatever you want. Take everything from the supply box and put your inventory. Okay. We got a map. We got a first aid med. We got a ration. We got a mini whetstone and a portable spit. Oh, is that what we're going to cook the steak on? Nice work. You examined the snot out of that supply box. Now, if you grabbed all you could out of it, like I told you to, then that means you should have picked up a map. A map is one of the most important things a hunter can have. It's the only way to see the whole region. Now, pros like me can skip picking them up. Be for rookies like you, grabbing the map from supply box to be your first hour of business. Map. Obtained to view full screen map. Okay. Now, see the little triangle on the map that's your location? The arrow moves around even face the direction you are. It means it's pretty impossible to get lost no matter how hard you try. Pretty high tech for a piece of paper. <laughs> yeah. Let's say you want a closer look at the lay of the land. You can do so by pressing the plus button to open the start menu and then zooming in the map with the Y button. So open start menu, zoom in the map. You can change the button that opens the start menu from the options. Huh? You want to know how to use all your other items too? Bah, good question, but those hunters stumble that run fast. What? For now, I've just got one big thing to teach you before you lose. You know how when you open up the start menu, there's a flashy column that says advice? You can check that any time to review the YC channel button of the course. Okay. Enough talk. Open your map and get going. Leave base camp and head for area one. I can see the map right there. Ah, okay, I see. Why am I wearing different stuff now? <laughs> I'm so confused. Okay, let's head down here. Okay, I really, whoops. Options, camera controls, well, flip Y. Wait, I wanted to flip X. Oh, and Y, because I want it to be like that. So, yeah, usually dual inverted is, oh, okay. Wait, why do I have this weapon now? so much stuff ooh okay so I can dodge roll with B that's cool A is attack that it looks like it uses some kind of stamina stuff up there my back kind of hurts I'm gonna lean back oh those are cute I'm going to have to kill them, aren't I? 
they look big. Just wants to right over there. Now, of course, you being a hunter and all, you're going to have to go in and introduce yourself to it. But before you do, let me... Hunters, no, no hurry, no, no haste. Of course, every rule has exceptions, and so does this one. Fast-paced world, fast-paced monsters, you need to dash to come on top. Just hold down the R button as you move around and you'll dash. Oh, but you'll have to put away your weapon first. R button plus left stick equals dash. But don't think you can run into the ends of the earth here. Your stamina has a limit. The yellow bar is for your stamina gauge. It tells you how much stamina you've got less when you're in a quest. Stamina is drained when you perform actions take a lot of energy, like dashing. If you take it easy for a bit, over your food slow enough, but if you go to a hundred all the way, you'll be exhausted, so you'll be out of it for actions to watch it. Okay. See, the only thing you gotta worry about though is time passes your maximum stamina will also start to fall. Sun, you're getting hungry. And let me tell you, that's not a good thing to be when you're out hungry. Stamina gauge length shrinks over time. Okay. You can't hunt if you're hungry. Always keep meat and other food on hand so that when you get the munchies, you can be back in tip-top shape in no time. And did I mention that eating raises your max stamina back up so you can dash for longer stretches again? Because it does. As you probably guess, dashing is important because it makes your hunts go that much faster. It sounds basic, but it's real important, so don't forget it. Now it's time to get in your first hunter underway. Start by dashing up to that monster and getting nice and personal with it. Can I just walk? Ah, okay. Dashing. Teach you about the basics about hunting monsters. What you've got in your hands is a sword and shield, and that'll do just fine. Pressing the X button says that's how you unsheath your weapon. Okay. You can sheath it again by having the Y button. That's all there is to it. Draw sheath. Once you get your weapon in hand, you can attack monsters with the X button and A button. Depending on the order you press these two buttons, you'll do all sorts of different attacks. Right now, it's enough just to get used to attacking. Once you get the hang of it, you want to try on different combinations. Of course, don't expect to take a monster. This is your attack lying down. This one makes the green bar up. So valid. It's your health. Which shows your health. Each hit giant health, but if all the enemies lights out. Average herbivore says you can use either. I'm just going to read the red. <laughs> You can use either the L button or right stick to face them with your camera. Okay. Oh, I'm sorry. Wait, well, died? Not bad for someone who didn't even know how to open the supply box. I don't think that monster will be getting a cup anytime soon, but your quest isn't over yet, Hunter. You've still got some carving to do. Carving can provide you with everything you'll need as a hunter, so listen up and listen good. If you stand by a monster you've slain and press the A button, you'll carve materials out of it. That's gross. Hunters have to live off all sorts of monster materials, so don't be afraid to take all that you need. Just be sure to see their weapon first. Okay. Sometimes you'll get lucky and find monsters that you can carve from more than once. Lucky for you, it looks like the one you just hunted can be carved from a second time. Okay. So, sheathe the weapon. I thought I pressed A to carve. Oh. Did I have to wait for it to stop, like, writhing? Laranoth hide obtained. Oh, that's so gross. Laranoth hide obtained, and then it disappeared. Okay, now what? Kill the other ones? Where'd they go? Is the draw distance really short, or...? Am I supposed to go to area two? What am I supposed to be doing? <laughs> well done, steak. Okay. I guess we'll try to go to area two. Oh, there's more. Um, get my weapon out. Yeah. 
It's so sad. It's like clip through everything. Oh, raw meat. Cook it and turn it into a well done steak. Okay. Portable spit. That's what we're going to use to cook the juicy raw meat and make it something edible. So let's make that well done steak reality now. Press and hold down the L button to bring up the item bar. Once you've done that, select the portable spit and release the L button. Oh gosh. Okay, hold down the L button to bring up the item bar. Then select the portable spit, then release the L button, and finally press the L but Y button to use it. Okay. So L button, we hold it down, then we go to the item. A or Y button to select the item, then we let go, then we press the Y button to use it. I want to get used to picking items this way, but once you do, you can manage it even while on the move. Now go ahead and select the portable spit so we can get some. Okay, first I want to carve out my other carving. Oh, I got another meat, okay. Oh, we use Y and A. Okay, I get it. So here's the portable spit. You can try your hand at cooking meat. You can't eat the raw meat, but what you can do is put it on the fire for a bit to turn it into a nice, selectable, well done steak in seconds. Crazy, I know, but just stay with me here. Use the portable spit when you have a solid raw meat and a catchy little jingle will start playing. That's your cue that the cooking process has started. Timing is everything in stage. When the music ends and your meat changes color, quickly press the A button to let your meat off the fire. Oh my gosh, we have to like cook mini game it. If you time it really well, you'll get away with the steak out of it. Now let's give it a try. Listen closely to the meat, the music as the meat cooks. Be careful if you put it out too early or too late, you'll end up with a rare steak or burnt meat. Worst case scenario, you'll have wished you never cooked at all. So take your time to get meat the fire just the right moment to get a well done steak. I don't know when the song ends. No, it became a burnt meat. Okay. Uh, that's what I thought I did. Okay, let's try it again. <laughs> this is dumb. Okay, so I need to go get, kill another one. Where'd they go? Did they run away when the when I killed the other one? It's like a little hole here. Oh, there's a butterfly. As long as you walk or run out of ledge without stopping, you can climb over them. You can jump over them. Oh, I pressed Y. <laughs> cool. Okay, here's another dude. Okay, so this like guards. It dashes when you don't have a weapon and it guards when you do have a weapon. meat we got a raw meat got another raw meat got another raw meat okay <laughs> what? 
I just see perfect. You'll be delivering the steak you just prepared, but normally you'll want to select one from the item bar and eat it by pressing the Y button. Fill your stomach will raise your stamina limit. Yeah. It's actually mine. We cooked too many steaks together for us to part now, but never fear. You can always buy your own portal spit in the village. It's a little pricey, but we all have to get some barbecue whenever you go, so I say it's more worth it. Anyway, now that you got your hands on the well done steak, it's time to click your quest and deliver it. For now, just hold on to it and make your way back to the base camp. Do not, I repeat, do not eat it. Got it? Ha! It still has some music. Two, two, three, four. Three, two, three, four, four, two, Okay, that's really not that hard. Let's eat one, even though he said not to eat one. I want to practice eating. <laughs> oh my gosh, the bar filled up a lot. Okay, let's go. Let's see if we can get some more while we're out here. These things die so easily. so silly. Bum, 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 bum. This is so weird. I can do it without looking. So tasty. Not even looking. Oh, I'm out of meats now. Whoops. I want to press B to run. How do I get back up? Oh, I see it. Precious little red box straight ahead of you, and that's where you noticed earlier. I did not notice it. Red delivery box. You see, from the delivery box, what's anybody you deliver any items that are your quest objectives? In this quest case, you need to deliver a done sake which you should conveniently have. If you're a good hunter and didn't eat on your way back to base camp, then run over to the delivery box. I did eat it, but I got another one. Oh. 
Honestly, he went to deliver the well about his take. Okay. Deliver option show up in the menu that appears. It only shows up in the area has delivery box, but allows you to deliver an item straight from the start menu. Pretty handy, hey? I guess. Also, by deliver now, you can specify how many of each item you want to deliver. Sometimes some can go in the box, some can you take home with you. It's good when you ask to deliver something you also want to keep stack later for sure, for use. I love this menu, the right above is the delivery box, but it's easy to start menu, whichever is easiest. Let's go ahead and deliver your lot on stake however you like. Once you do, you'll almost be done with this quest. Okay. We know how to deliver it that way. You deliver that well done sick like no one's business. Once you've had the clear condition request, request, time to pack up my back home for the day. Just wait a little bit and you'll be able to take some nice items and a little money as your reward. Clearing a quest takes you to the reward screen. If you feel you're up for it, I suggest you start your next round of training after you get back to the village. But if you think you need practice, don't be afraid to retry any of these quests as many times as you need. Have to teach your ropes, you can spread your wings and fly on your own as a hunter. Is there a way to like go back faster? <laughs> you can kick. <laughs> Wait, is it quest complete? Oh. Whoops, didn't mean to take a picture. I meant to try kicking again. Send to the item box. Okay. Zenny, it is called Zenny. Man, that was a lot for one tutorial. Oh, I can run in the town. You hold R. Okay, let's talk to these people with yellow. Hunter notes in the start menu. The monster will season on monster names, types, threat level, and how many you've hunted and captured. Surrounding and countermeasures against them, and you check these notes and review them closely for actually misinformation. Now I start with a few to look at, I'll have more of you to check at a later time. New info is added to the monster list. Okay. Yeah, attention, please. Airship flight check encounter. Academy permission only. Okay. Hunter call service. Send on hunter call from a hunter's hub in local play, and it'll ping anyone with us. We pride ourselves on a thorough service. Circular use for created hub. Okay. No idea what that means. Let's see. Palico Armory. Manville Smithy. Oh, he's like a little dwarven guy. I was like, thought it was a cat. <laughs> you see, that's me. I'm Manville, the village smithy. If you need gear, then I'm your guy. But let's not waste any time with pleasantries. Let me tell you just what the smithy's all about. There's two major things I can do for you for hunters. Actually. Forging and upgrading. Forging's, I know. Give me the materials of the city and they're good to go. You'll need different materials based on the equipment. Monster bones for bone gear, for metal gear. So you can gather the rest from there. As for upgrading, I'll cover that some other time. I prefer pounding some metal to flapping my gums, so if you need some gear, just give me a holler. Well, Skippy, what's it gonna be today?
I think switch axe is a thing where it's like an axe and it can become a shield or something. Oh, I like this. We have the petrified rod. We need an iron bayonet and... Wait, oh no, these are types of insect glaives. So we have petrified rod, we can make an iron bayonet. Okay, so they're like... It's more like a glaive weapon than a rod. These are cool looking things. Well, I've been playing for like an hour now. So I'm gonna kinda explore the town on my own. I might make another video. I don't know. I'm gonna sit here and look through all this stuff and just kinda look around and then uh, I'll make another video maybe once I'm done with tutorial or something. I don't know, we'll see. Oh, I should look at you guys when I'm talking. I'll make another video, maybe. We'll see, but thank you for watching this. I'm not planning on doing this as a series or anything. I just wanted to show my first impressions. So I hope you guys enjoyed. If you want to see a whole series about this, let me know.